Hey lovely people, Makaya here, back with another video. Today, I'll be sharing what my experience has been like with Bulk 1340. Be sure to stay tuned until the very end because that is where I will answer the questions you all asked me in my last video. In total, it's been about a year since I started taking Bulk 1340, but sadly I have not taken it consistently for a year. It's been on and off, but I will say when I am using this product, it works. I'm a hard gainer and the key really is a caloric surplus, but there's something about stuffing my face with too much food that takes away eating, like the, the enjoyment of eating, if you know what I'm saying. So this protein mass gain or whatever you want to call it um helps with that like food is still food to me it's not a chore that's the biggest thing it's it, it should still be enjoyable um which is why i get the chocolate flavor chocolate chef's kisses it reminds me of chocolate milk as far as weight goes it's fluctuated so much but when i am taking bulk 1340 i believe it alters my default weight you know how you're one weight in the morning and then you're one weight in the afternoon and one weight before bed. That range for me was between 100 pounds and 105. And then it kind of moved up from 104 to 106, 107 to 110. So right now I'm bouncing back and forth between 110 and 115. I'm incorporating the gym into my routine now and I believe that will get me past 115. In the last video, I said I was going to try to take protein smoothies, mass gainer smoothies twice a day, but that's four scoops in total with bulk 1340 and that's way too much for me. I am good with one a day. So that's two heaping scoops, that's fine. I'm like, okay, this is just to get me started. You know, I, I take it in the morning and then I make up the rest of my caloric surplus needed by eating food and snacks. I feel like if I were to do two smoothies a day, I would be cheating and food would be non non-existent because I would be getting so much from the smoothie. I wouldn't have an appetite and it's just like, no. With one smoothie, when I sit down and I drink it all in one take, I am pretty full. So yeah, it's I don't wanna torture myself. No chores here. I'm doing this for me. It should be pleasant. It should be a pleasant experience. If you are curious about anything I just said, be sure to leave your questions, concerns, comments in the comment section below. Now, let's get on to the questions that you all asked in my last video. How much have you gained since starting? It's kind of hard to just give you a number outright because I haven't been consistent. But I will say from September to December, I gained eight pounds. And I mentioned I have gotten up to 115. So it is working for me. Why don't you use milk when mixing your mass gainer? Because water is just more accessible, at least to me, thankfully, I'm very grateful. But milk, I just, I don't know. I like milk a lot, right? So if I'm using milk for, I don't know, my breakfast drink of choice, and then I'm putting it into my smoothie, which needs, I think, three cups. I know for sure it takes three cups of water. I'm gonna double check the back of the bag but that's just a lot and i don't want to keep running back and forth to the store for milk water is fine and it mixes well it's not like it takes away from the taste of my mass gainer which one is better bulk 1340 or serious mass honestly okay <laughs> this is a great question i started with serious mass at the very beginning of my weight journey um i watched youtube videos you know i'm reading reviews i'm like okay this is this is this is gonna be it for me this is great but I realized I didn't like it that much. I didn't like the taste. I wasn't sure how to blend it. I tried to add like ice cream in there. There was just a lot going on. It was, it was like I was focusing more on how to make it taste good to me than actually just drinking it. And that took away from the whole process. I was like, you know what, I'll just work out and eat. But it's like I spent money on this thing, like I have to. So I was forcing myself to like it. And um, that wasn't fun at all. With Bulk 1340, pretty cool. Mix it and go. I'm not spending too much time thinking. Like, 
I, I know I like the taste. I like how full I feel afterwards. So bulk 1340 for sure over a serious mass. Do you have to work out to gain or can you just consume? I was just drinking the mass gainer between September and December. I wasn't working out consistently. I maybe went to the gym, I don't know, five times. I was traveling, you guys. Look, I was I was all over the place. Um, <laughs> so I didn't have time. I, I wasn't making time to work out. But I would make time to make a smoothie and run. Like I would take it with me and go. If I'm driving somewhere, I'm drinking my smoothie in the morning. Um, if I'm meeting with a friend, I'm making sure I'm drinking it beforehand. Like it was just, it was, it was convenient. For the gym, you have to, you know, get your outfit together. You have to figure out how long it's going to take you to get to the gym. You have to work out at the gym. So that's time as well. And it's just like, uh, but it does help. So with your goals, you have to figure out what is best. But yeah, you, you don't necessarily need the gym. Will you lose weight without the mass gainer? <sighs> hmm. Yes. On paper, yes. If you aren't taking in that amount of calories, yeah, you're going to lose weight. Does it come with a scoop inside? Yes, it comes with a scoop. I've collected several over this time period, but I usually recycle them and just continue to use one. It is... Um, about eight ounces it's one cup specifically so yeah you just do two heaping scoops put it in your little blender mix it up with whatever water milk you use and yeah you're good to go how many servings is in one bag the bag that i purchased has 15 in total so if i didn't answer your question and you still have comments concerns whatever the case is be sure to leave them in the comment section below and i will see you all in my next video bye